everybody, Kiara here back with another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. Last time we left off, we entered the Salacion Ruins, dun, 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 and we met um, Warden Caliba and her bee barrel. We need to look for this missing uh, fragment piece of this wall. There appears to be letter-like markings engraved on the stone surface. Okay. Be on your way. There's much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Alright, yeah. This is a way different Salacian Ruins that I remember. It's like nothing. Alright, we had a battle with Volo, and then he told me to go check out that campsite that I saw, so... Let's go check out that campsite. Oh yeah, in the last episode we also um, ran into a... What are they called here? I keep calling them totem Pokemon. But that's in Alola. Right? Totem Pokemon are in Alola. What are they called here? The... Temple Pokemon? No. Guardian po No. <laughs> um... What are they called here? Please forget what they're called here. Oh, Alpha Pokemon, that's it. They're called Alpha Pokemon. From behind. Thank you. Caught you from behind. You're level 8? Are you kidding me? Are all these Pokemon are like so high leveled? And that one is a level 8. Alright. Um. The music just picked up again. The music changes so fast, man. So fast. Ooh, got that one from behind. Level 20. See, like, level 20. And then that Krikatot was level 8. Okay. Well, it's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, I haven't caught a Parasect before. That was my first time. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go check out that area, huh? Well, actually, there's no way to get there, huh? Unless I, like, fall from above. I don't know how to get above there, but... That's the only way I could see. Alright, so we're checking out this campsite. Because we need to track down these, uh... These bandits, right? So, Volo was thinking this is their campsite? It's a burned-out campsite. Somebody must have been here. Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. There's only one reason... Wait, you guys. She looks a lot like Candace. The gym leader. Okay, there's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Now, he... he I mean, I guess she. She... Has the hair of Saturn, the Team Galactic member? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong she was to assume she could ever beat us. Okay, now she... <laughs> she looks like... Um, what's her name? Bertha. The Elite Four member. 
Oh my god, these people like they're bandits, but their relatives are good people. <laughs> I don't know if they're relatives. Uh, I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you sing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win, and tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Your name is Coin? That is, that is not a name. <laughs> We're the infamous bandit trio, the misfortune fortune sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle the sisters. I'll only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxicroak, let's douse this fool in poison. Now that is definitely a Pokemon Saturn would own. Could I just call you Saturn? Saturn is the only one that isn't uh, a good person. Out of the three people I said? Alright, let's just do this. Oh my god. What was that about? Well, um... Here, let's just do this. Might as well. You're just gonna destroy me. Or not. I completely forgot Toxic Rook was a fighting type. Okay, that was fast. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Okay. Humph, the galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. You used to be on the galaxy team? So does that mean you used to be on Team Galactic? A uh, wall fragment, a fragment that was once part of a stone panel in the Silesian ruins. It has markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of writing. The weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. Tch, <laughs> all that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Uh, I wanted to help Ursaluna. Caliba is rude to me, so I want to help Ursaluna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all we have, all that we have. And I've got a score to sell with the Galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Okay, I have no idea what you were talking about. Alright, return to the Silesian ruins to tell Volo that you've retrieved the wall fragment. Will do. I will do that. Let's do that. What happens if I just fall in the river? I'll probably die. Right? <laughs> That's definitely gonna happen. I'll probably die. Wow, these Krikatot are the weakest, Con uh, considering all of these other Pokemon are level 20 or above. Those Krikatot just have to bring down my spirit. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm collecting them for the Pokedex, right? I guess that's good. Good work. Very good work indeed. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Caliba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. 
but she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diaper Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Give the wall fragment to Calibur inside the Salesian ruins. Oh, so you've come to bother me again? Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. This wall fragment. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to call Marceluna, hmm? That's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. How'd you get it up there? How, how'd you lift it? How did I lift it? It looks heavy. <laughs> and there we go, good as new. Of course, it's unknown text. Literally, the Pokemon unknown is the text. Let me read what it says. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance? What is your name, then? I see. Kiara, please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I could rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Sludge Mound? What kind of place is that? Obviously a mound of sludge, right? Alright. It's 490 steps that way. Alright. Let's go. If I see a Pokemon, I'll catch it, but I'm just going to be on my way. Oh god, I'm going to have to pass that alpha Pokemon, huh? God, that Tang growth was so evil looking. So evil looking. It was so terrifying. Oh, there it is. I just want to, like, catch it before battling it. I, I just don't want to battle it. Um, let's see if I could do that. Uh, oh, that's what the odd keystone looks like? Oh, right. Yeah, I, I've never actually seen it before. But no, that is the body of a Pokemon. I forget its name. Why am I forgetting its name? That is the body of a Pokemon. So I guess I'm going to be able to catch that Pokemon once I gather all the wisps. I guess. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, I wanted to see what these are. A ball that flies fast and true, ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Okay. That won't work. Oh, you know what? How about heavy balls? You know that I could craft heavy balls, right? So, I could craft heavy balls, right? I need black to... Your satchel is full. Oh, okay. Uh, what could I get rid of? Could I just, like, get rid of something? Discard. This could be sold. I don't really care for selling anything. At least not right now, so. 
Let's just do that. And I want to see if this works. Heavy balls. I'm gonna try five. Okay, now, um, heavy balls. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but it is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. Too heavy to fly high or, fall or far. <laughs> um, I could try throwing it. It's gonna be heavy. But I could try throwing it. That didn't work. Okay, so I was testing the distance, you guys. I had to test it. But an unsuspecting Pokemon. Alright, I need a, I need a sneak. I need a sneak this way. Okay. A space-time distortion seems to be forming. Dang it! Okay. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I tried. I tried, you guys. I'm just like, well, I tried. He does not want to, uh... Wait, how did I forget? Oh, God. I actually forget... <laughs> I actually forgot that uh, it was level 45 for a second there, so yeah, let us uh, run away. I could have just snuck away, but I had to just try to catch it. I had to just catch it, huh? Oh, wow. What was that move? Ooh. Is that the space-time distortion thing, whatever it's called? So if I go in there, then that means there will be way more stronger Pokemon and different items. So I don't know if I'd want to go in there. A space-time distortion right before my eyes. Right before my very eyes. How long does it last, I wonder? God, look, it's covering this whole area. I can't even get to it because there's a river in the way. What the heck? Um, excuse me? Okay. Someone saw me, and I have no idea who saw me. I'm just like, um, excuse me? What the heck is happening? Alright, I have to go this way, but the time, the space-time distortion is this way. Oh. Okay, now it's a space-time distortion. Oh, Okay. It's one of those clouds over there. So I guess it was still forming. <laughs> that's that's what it looks like when it was forming. And now it's really there, so... Should we go for it, you guys? Should we go for broke? It looks crazy. It looks wicked. And it's also nighttime. Oh god. Oh my god, you guys, I can't see anything in it. Whoa. <laughs> you 
you guys. I just ran out of there. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I had like three Pokemon's eyes on me. And I just got scared. <laughs> I just got scared. Alright. <coughs> what the heck? You're not supposed to do that. Okay, well. Oh god, what? You get to attack twice? What? Okay. Fine then. Be that way. I'm gonna try one more time. Just get into this Pokeball. I don't wanna fight you. Okay. You're getting on my nerves now? Did not wanna do that. Okay. Uh, Aerial Ace. No. Double hit. What? Okay, something happened. It said I adopted a hard-hitting stance or something? Not sure what that means. And now I'm paralyzed? And that's super effective? Is Scyther a flying type? I don't even know these things. I thought Scyther was just a bug type, but I guess it's also a flying type? Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, it is terrifying in there. I do not want to go in there. So I'm just running away. I am a, a chicken when it comes to uh, battling scary Pokemon. Maybe when, you know, I have, uh, maybe when I'm higher leveled, I might go in there, but not now. I cannot, uh, I, I will not last a suit foot roots. Okay. There's a few Yanma. So let's try to catch them. But of course, they're dragonflies and they fly all willy nilly. Dang it. Dang it. He just straight up dodged that. Straight up. Straight up dodged. I need some more apricorns, you guys. I really need some more apricorns. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Caught a Yanma, level 22, not bad. Oh. Dang it. You didn't get caught. Okay. God, that looks terrifying. You guys, that seriously looks terrifying. Alright, let's just go get on with my mission. The music is also terrifying me. That is some scary music. Come on, get me up there. It's like right there. I'm just like, it's like right there. I just wanted an iron chunk. What is that? That's a Pokemon? The distortion faded. Cool. Oh, look at it. My legs are covered in mud. That was a... Cr that was a Krogunk? 
That was a Krogunk? Really? I'm just so confused by that. That was really a Krogunk? Alright, Ghastly. Here I come, Ghastly. Oh, too high. Oh, nope, I got it. From behind. Caught a Ghastly. New kind of Pokemon. Oh, okay. Fine then. S see me. That's fine. It's totally fine if you see me. I wanted you to see me. I did not want you to attack first, though. Okay, that's what you get for poisoning me. That is what you get for poisoning me. I guess that is a Krogunk. Now that I see it. Whoa, that is a big fossil looking item. Color, uh, called Stardust, apparently. Could I just walk in this mud? I could, huh? I could run in the mud. Okay, you see me. I'm out of here. I'm just like, I'm out of here. <gasps> what the heck was that about? Whoa. Really? Oh god. Oh god, you guys. You guys, what am I even doing? I'm just running through all of the stuff. There's a Alpha Hippowdon. Okay, I cannot handle that. And now the Alpha Pokemon sees me. Great. I don't even know what I'm doing. The Alpha Pokemon disappeared, thankfully. For now. I was just running <laughs> so fast away from everything. Ooh, Hippopotas. I do remember I have a request for a Hippopotas. I forget what the request was, but I have a request to get one. Wait. Oh. I'm just like, wait. I'm just like, wait. Okay. You guys need to stop seeing me, okay? Just stop seeing me. And I'll I'll just be on my way. Ow. That hurt badly. How did that do so much damage? This game just surprises me all the time, you guys. How does it do that much damage? Tell me. Tell me how. How, how does it possibly do that much damage? You have got to be kidding me here. Oh god. Okay, Graveler. I see how it is, Graveler. Wow. I need to heal badly? Okay, let's try it one more time. Graveler, are you going to just come with me peacefully? Yes, it is. Good. You made the right decision. Okay. Now, Hippowdon, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, leave you alone for now, and, uh... Let's, uh, let's call a truce. Let's, let's call a truce. That is a terrifying-looking Hippowdon. Let's have a truce.
I can't crouch in the mud, huh? Oh, I caught it. Okay. I need to turn in that request. I think they wanted a Hippopotas, or they wanted the Pokedex entry, right? So, I don't know what they wanted. Alright, where am I going? This is Sludge Mound. This is where I'm supposed to be, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be over there. Alright, uh, let's see. But I remember someone said something about Sludge Mound. I forget what he said. Alright, anyways, there's a request here, so let's take it. Hello there, so you're the Survey Corps child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help with, settle with setting up our new base camp? We're making one up by the bags. Our Odo could sure use someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction corpse recruit, still learning the ropes. Setting up the bog-bound camp? Uh, sure, I'll do that. Go help set up the camp. Over here? Whoa there, I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers, they're taking up the spot where I was going to set up a base camp. One stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this, someone good at battling. I'm not bad. <laughs> Are you sure you're up to this though? They stink something fierce. Leave it to me. Well, if you insist, but you've got to beat three of them, so be ready to run and stay downwind. Alright, well, right now I hardly have any Pokemon to use, so that's a problem. That, that is a big problem. Four of my Pokemon are fainted. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, confusion. It has no effect. Okay, I'm done for. Okay, that's not very effective. Not very effective either. I'm just like, it has no effect. Okay, I'm done for. And now I'm poisoned. Okay. Um. Let's see. Items. Revive. Alright. Drifloon, let's... Let's try, just try your best. Try your best. Astonish. Does that work? Yes, it does. It's not very effective. Oh my god. I am done for. Tackle doesn't have any effect. Venishock definitely has some effect. Alright, uh... Lava. I'm gonna lose this battle, you guys. I am seriously gonna lose this battle. Um, okay. Flame Wheel. Not bad. When you use that, I'm just gonna die. Now, when you use that, I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal. This one is 100. There you go. I like how I just threw a potion at it. I just tossed it. Like, here, you know how to use this, right? Just, just use it by yourself. What was that? What even was that? Oh my god. What was that about? 
Uh, here, let's do Staravia, because it's higher level. Makes the most sense, right? It makes the most sense to do that. God? Uh, so help me. I'm going to die. And that is what's going to happen. Here, you know what? Let's just... Let's get this over with. Um, Aerial Ace. I defeated one. One of three. Okay, I get poisoned. And then he's gonna attack with a powerful move. I guess it's not that powerful. It's fine. Um, hold on. Items. We're gonna try this again. Let's use this one again. Staravia. Just toss it at it. Cool. And I get hurt by poisoning. And then they use Venom Shock. How does... Wow, I don't even get sent to my camp. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Wow. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. Here, let's, uh... You know what, let's call it a day, you guys. I am upset. <laughs> Are you mad? I am mad. That was not what I wanted to happen. Uh, if Choi at the den general store could just get some different goods in stock, I'd have more to sell. Or oh, don't mind me, have your Pokemon team and your items all ready for your excursion. Uh, I could use a rest. How long would you want to rest? Uh, just a little while. It still fully heals them, right? Okay, thank you. Now, you guys need a train. <laughs> Badly. Uh, could I just not take the long way around? Could I just, you know, teleport here? I can't. I cannot teleport there. Alright. Well, I'll start running that way. But I won't be there for a while. We are in the Golden Lowlands, you guys. Golden Lowlands. There's a Pokemon around the corner. I don't have any Pokeballs, which sucks. So, let's try to avoid Pokemon. Just because I also don't want to craft any. <laughs> Until I get more uh, Apricorns. Oh god, okay. I don't mind battling, though. As long as it's in my range of level, then I'm fine. Um, okay. Let's just run. There's a Parasect. Okay. I need to get over there. So I have to go around this parasect. And it sees me. Okay. I did not want you to see me. But I guess as you do, then fine. It's fine by me. I just start running away. Uh, okay. Psyduck, are you going to want to fight? Please not. You don't even see me. What the heck? That Psyduck is so... blind. <laughs> that Psyduck seriously didn't even see me. Alright, so then we're going this way. Okay. Gonna throw something at this tree. I don't have enough space. What are you talking about?
Okay. Whatever. There is something in this tree. Ooh. That's a different colored Burmy. It's the, uh... What type is that? It's the sand cloak uh, Burmy, right? The sand cloak. It's fine, though. It's fine that I destroyed it. Because right now I just want to get to my location. Oh god, I forgot about Dan Grove. I forgot about it. God. I don't want to fight it. I don't want anything to do with it. I want nothing to do with it. So I'm going this way. I don't know where, but I'm just going this way. There's more ruins over here. Oh wow, there's a lot of ruins over here. Where am I going? Look at all these pathways, you guys. There's a lot of pathways. Alright, you guys, after this battle, um, it'll be the end of the episode. You guys, okay, so next episode, we shall continue heading in this direction. There's something down there, what? Who sees me? There's a Krogunk under the water. Okay, I don't really know who sees me yet. As long as I just keep going this way, no one will see me, right? That's how it works. Yep, the eye is gone. All right. You guys, next time, uh, we will continue heading this way, go to our destination. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys then.